So today in this video, we're going to look at the basics of how to tame zebra finches. Part 1, welcoming zebra finches at your home. You will buy zebra finches first of all from some or the other source, maybe the pet store or your friends or family members at your home. So in this first video, we're going to see how to make your home ready and how to take care of them and how to welcome them in your home. Okay, so this is going to be the new home for your zebra finches. Keep it in mind, you're not going to open the door of their cages and let them out on the very first day. Okay, we're going to look at the four basics. The four basics are going to be extremely important that will help you to tame your zebra finches very much easily and within very much short period of time. So the first and very much important thing that comes is the food, 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 food. Okay, second thing comes is the fresh water. Third thing that comes is extreme cleanliness of your home and of the home of your zebra finches, that is the cage. And fourth thing which is not at all replaceable, this is nothing but the love. Okay, no other thing can be replaced with this. Point four, this is love. Okay, so let's talk about point number one, food. Uh, basically, zebra finches eat uh, grains. They are the grain eaters, okay. And all the zebra finches, you know, like humans. They are mainly like humans, mostly like humans, and all their behavior uh, that we gonna see henceforth, okay. So, as every individual in your family has some personal likes and dislikes, every zebra finch has some personal likes and dislikes, okay. Isn't it wonderful and cute? So. These little tiny 10 grams of zebra finches have their own personal food likes and dislikes. Okay, but they are mainly the food eaters, they are grain eaters and grain is their primary food, so you have to give them grain. Okay, and these grains, uh, what they do is they have little tiny teeth inside their uh, cute uh, orange, you know, beak and um, they separate the grain you know from outer shell and they throw that outer shell off so you will see a lot of grates around the cage initially when you're new, new and you don't know anything so they are not throwing away the grates okay they're not confused with they're eating the grains inside and they're throwing out the uh, outer shell so you have to uh, you know uh, clean all that stuff daily as of now we are uh, yet to make the birds out of the cage and you have to replace the you know food tray inside the cage because what happens is it gets occupied later on with the outer shell and then the tiny uh, beak of these zebra finches are not able to go deep inside and get the remaining grain so you have to you know just blow the uh, shell shells out of i mean the great outer um, layer out of whatever that I feel you know uh, you have to blow that stuff off and you have to daily add new fresh grapes in that okay and the amount that they're gonna eat you have to be a very good observer initially because this is your time to know a new individual in your family member so you have to keep a watch like how much they are eating every day Okay, they eat very small amount, very tiny amount and you have to take the tray out and like you have to blow. Okay, then uh, the remaining of grates will be there at the bottom and you have to add new grates and keep it fresh and clean food every day in their cage. Okay, second thing is uh, by you know observation of myself and with many of other my friends who have the branches at home. Uh, zebra finches love coriander so much, okay, so the best thing to be friends with your zebra finches is offering them fresh stalks of coriander, okay, so you can just have, uh, you know, chopped coriander, you have to chop it very finely because they have very tiny beak and you have to keep fresh uh, tray of any fresh food that you're going to give them henceforth, okay, because uh, what happens is, if you're not cleaning on the daily basis, basically this is bad. I'm not going to recommend that at all. But it spoils the grapes as well when the fresh food given is rotten or it is not, you know, fresh that much. So we don't want to spoil the food at all. So always fresh food is given in the separate container and keep the small dish inside the cage. 
that's all you have to do and let them eat let them take their own time and uh, even if they're not gonna eat it on the day one or day two little little amount just you know one or two stick of coriander or four marts for two uh, zebra finches I mean for a pair of zebra finches okay so you're gonna do it slowly slowly every day point number two is water so zebra finches are extremely uh, you know like humans as I say they wash their bodies three to four times a day they do take wonderful bath and if you see my videos um, you know uh, I have videos of my zebra finches you know taking bath freely anywhere <laughs> in the home so I'm gonna teach you to go to that level as well so uh, anyways as of now you have to keep it in mind that zebra finches do take a bath as well in the water that you're gonna give in their cages and they also drink a little bit of water but basically zebra finches are originated from Australia kind of uh, geographical region so they do not drink so much of a water okay little bit of water is too much for them and uh, that's it third thing is the cleanliness so it is extremely important uh, third point cleanliness I think is very important when you're getting birds new in your home so what is happening is you're getting it from somewhere especially if you're getting it from pet houses or something where there are a lot of pets birds you know together and uh, proper hygiene is not maintained many times they are having some uh, you know infections on their bodies like they are scratching their bodies all the time so you have to uh, be a good observer and check out you know what are they doing they scratch themselves so much I do have a video in my playlist regarding that as well and you have to use proper uh, you know um, there are uh, powders available that you can sprinkle on the board and um, you can also use neem leaves basically which are excellent uh, for maintaining cleanliness and uh, not to get them once again you know infected so uh, neem leaves are very good you should get it from somewhere and keep uh, all the neem leaves inside their cages and they enjoy the natural leaves and everything so that's fantastic and uh, they eat basically they do their shit inside the cage and uh, many times it is inside the food um, tray, uh, inside the fresh food tray or grate. So you have to, uh, you know, separate it. And um, that's that's the reason you have to clean the trays every day. And uh, I would always recommend to, you know, uh, keep uh, one hard kind of a cardboard basically at the bottom of the cage and on that hard kind of a uh, uh, cardboard you furthermore add two to three uh, you know uh, handouts that usually come in the newspaper or kind of a glossy papers which are you know having a little bit um, good quality papers and uh, so that what will happen is whenever your bird is going to do some shit or whatever they'll be on the paper and your cage will not be um, you know uh, badly um, just left you know so you just have to uh, remove that paper in a day or two and uh, replace it with the new paper and your cage can be maintained very much clean and third thing is when they eat you know the grapes they want to throw out the outer shells out so you will also notice a lot of shells around the cage as well so you have to you know mop your floor clean your floor maybe two to three times a day depending on how many birds you have so this is very important and maintaining cleanliness inside your home and inside the cage is very important to maintain good health of your uh, birds. Basically we have to screen them if they are already not infected when you get them from any uh, pet bird shop because it is likely that because of you know a lot of birds are there and poor hygiene they are so you have to sprinkle the powder as I said and whatever and uh, maintain very good and clean uh, cage so that uh, your birds will remain healthy because they like everything which is soft which is cute which is healthy which is warm and like that so they understand everything so you have to maintain the cage very well and you can just open the cage door a little bit and place your hand inside you know to replace the dirty paper to replace the uh, bad food you know with the 
uh, fresh food and fresh water every day and let them see you doing this you know they become familiar with the hand that comes in and that cleans entire cage and you will see you know what i observed my bird used to sit on the uh, perch and they used to uh, see downstairs now what is she doing and then they understood that she's cleaning everything and they do not come out later on you know even if you keep the door open they don't come out because they're not familiar with your home as of now it is new for them so this is all you have to do and do it with a lot of love you know talk to them no matter what other people are thinking who are not understanding these things you have to say them hi hello and um, you know they enjoy food, taking food with the humans so whenever you want to take lunch or dinner you know keep their cage with you it is not some showpiece as i said in the first video so you don't have to keep them somewhere inside uh, you know the home in the corner or hanging somewhere no just take the cage with you and have lunch with them dinner with them talk to them and then you will notice you know your birds will also start eating when you are eating you know so this is the first sign that they are building bonds with you and when your hand will go inside to clean the cage they're not gonna flutter or they're not gonna get scary or they will rather sit calmly and this thing will get familiar to them that this is the thing and this is the thing that happens and this is how uh, the cage is clean and you know she loves us she takes care of us and then slowly slowly they'll start developing love and affection towards you so this is all for the first video welcoming zebra finches i know this is a bit longer video and uh, if you need really don't forget to watch it once again right from the beginning to end because welcoming them is very important and uh, keeping them uh, in a place where there is a very good sunlight because initially for first few days they're going to be there inside the cage we're not going to take them out immediately okay so keep them in a very fresh uh, ventilated uh, place from where they're going to get fresh air and they're going to get fresh uh sunlight you know and the best place i think is near your window because they really enjoy uh you know looking outside through the windows you can see a lot of videos on my playlist as well when they are out and they still you know sit at the window and they enjoy uh like we enjoy window shopping <laughs> they enjoy window sitting so this is how it goes so uh that's all for the first video and um stay tuned with me for the further videos too your comments likes are welcome don't forget to share the video with those who are really interested and love the bird and um, yes the bird nanny services are available all my playlist of the preference lovers is below in the description box don't forget to subscribe my channel and stay tuned thank you so much have a great time with your pets okay so as of now bye bye and do take care of yourself and your birds too